Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today we're asking the question, will we be together? So will I be together with the person that I'm thinking about? So this could apply to those of you who have been with the person already and you're asking again if you would be with each other again, or it could apply to those of you asking, are we simply going to be together? This would um, this this type of reading can also be used by those of you who have not even met the person as yet but you are interested in them and you're wondering if you will be together on a date or you whether you'll be together in a relationship so the question very basically is will i be together with the person that you have in mind and i've i have just three options because it's basically a yes no or maybe um answer type of question and so it's just going to be a quick uh type of yes or no um question but um i'm going to add a little bit more um um depth to it i'm going to add a little bit more flesh to it and perhaps that will give you a bit more insight into your situation so we have three options here the uh, from left to right it's one two and three Go ahead, make your selection, and you'll find the timestamp in the description box below. And I'm going to go ahead and begin the reading. So for those of you who've chosen the option number one, we have the Wheel of Fortune here and then we have the Prince of Wands uh, reversed and then we have a card of, of change. Um, it's, uh, well that's what it, what it is, it says Ferendong, uh, which is a change. And, um, but usually it would be the Two of Pentacles. So I would say here that um, the answer to your question is yes there's quite a good chance that you will be together however it requires quite a lot of um effort or um, there's a fair amount of commitment it's not going to be quite simple that you just come together or even if you do simply come together it might be an effort to keep this person it's not to say that you can't uh keep this person or you you won't be able to keep this person if you come together but rather that once you come together that um, this person could be somebody who's quite um, committed to their life of, um, of travel or quite committed to, some, to being around the block um, being with many people at once they could also be somebody who's um, not really the commitment type there's also a sense here that um, they might be um, uh, quite excitable, uh, quite restless in their spirit. Um, however, I do think that there is a chance that you will come together because what we have first is we have the Wheel of Fortune. And what I see here with that is that the universe or something will happen to, to sort of bring you together or make it possible for you to be together. And then it's up to you to deal with this person's uh, feeling of... Um, of need of restlessness or fear the need or their immaturity in a way because the way i see it it's like they would be interested but to get them to stay or to get them to be interested on a deeper level is is quite um it's going to be quite a challenge the other thing i want to say here is that you could be in for quite a ride for quite an, an exciting time with this person and if you just simply go, go with the flow with it you will in fact enjoy it but um it feels to me here that um that when you actually are with this person that it's not like your expectations are not met however it's like you are perhaps have too many expectations and um and perhaps the 
expectations are a little bit unrealistic in terms of what to expect with, from this person because the way I see it is that you don't know this person so well or perhaps you feel that you know this person well but you'll get to know a different side of them when you actually have um, come together in a way. I want to say that it's an interesting card because it feels you know, like the, uh, this will bring quite a lot of change in your life. It will. It's almost like this person will usher in. Um, if you are to come together, yeah, yeah. It's almost as if this person will usher in a different kind of energy in your life. So if you are somebody who's quite stable, quite settled, you you slow moving. Um, it takes you a while to make a decision, and you're quite fixed in quite uh, earth, earthed in your decisions. Uh, this person's gonna come around and just you know spin your world around and. Um, and you're going to have to make decisions on the go and you're going to be having to be quite much more spontaneous than you would be comfortable with. It also feels here like um, uh, like this person will come in and change your life. So I feel that the answer here is yes, you will be with this person because firstly, the universe is providing a very clear opportunity for you to actually be with this person and then secondly it's like if you once you are with this person i see great change in your life i see a different part of you coming out for you to continue with the relationship for you to exist in this relationship it activates a different part of you and if you could just go with the flow with that you would actually enjoy yourself and discover some things about yourself as well however it is a juggling act and it is something that um will require you to really think on your toes and really um, be on top of your game when you are with this person. I feel like this person is just has many interests as well and is, is quite distracted and so you will find like that you almost are needing to keep up with them or not like run after them but just keep up with them and um, compete also with some of the interests that this person has. So that is your reading for you, uh, for those of you who chosen the first option here. I hope that um, this has helped you and I hope that it resonates. I mean, that's quite a specific message. Yeah, I would be curious uh, to know if everyone who's come to the option number one has, uh, they, well, they are interested in somebody who's quite an uncontrolled prince of, of wands character or knight of wands character. So thank you to those of you who've chosen the option number one. I'm moving on now to the option number two. So for those of you who've chosen this option here, the option number two, we are asking, will we be together? And that is the question that we're asking today. So what I see in these cards, um, a man or one of the partners being um, quite involved in themselves, quite feeling quite sad, quite quite sorry for themselves. They might have experienced a loss recently. They might have gone through a divorce or having a loss of a family member or having um, lost a loved one and feeling not quite ready, not well equipped to uh, look at love again. Um, so this is not the right time for love um, as far as this person is concerned and the way I see you in this situation is that you're hoping that a wish would come true and you're feeling like it will come true but that it just needs a bit of time until it does and that that time is in the future and I feel here that there's a sense that when you are with this person that you're almost looking for a reconciliation so even if you went ever with this person before it's as if you're coming into the situation looking for a reconciliation like you are expecting them to be the one that you reconcile with like a soulmate or a twin flame or uh, some kind of bond that you share with this person where being with them would be like you were returning to them i see also that this is um this uh, allows you to be quite distracted from your own life in terms of uh, in terms of your work in terms of your studies in terms of your own interests and it's almost as if you're neglecting your own duties as well as neglecting yourself in the process so what i see here is 
is you wishing for something and expecting that wish to come true. It's almost like you feel um, like why, you know, you deserve this or like you're entitled to it and that, it, you know, why wouldn't it? Like it's as if it's owed to you that you would have your wish come true. And there's this person here who is quite caught up in their own world. It's almost as if they don't see you and uh, they are still feeling quite teary, um, quite mournful, not not willing to, not able to, not ready for a relationship or uh, to even look at, at somebody else. I want to say that uh, in this situation, I feel like the querent, that is the person asking the question, as in you, the person listening to this right now, um, if unless, of course, you're listening to this for somebody else, but the person who's listening to this for themselves, and this person is actually fooling themselves like there isn't really something, like there isn't really a chance that they can come together with the person that they dream of being with, and um, and that perhaps there is a chance sometime in the future. But right now, the message here speaks of actually just giving yourself the chance to focus on yourself and not really paying attention to this other person or just letting the situation go for the moment and and not squander your time, not waste your time, not throw away your talents, but rather to focus on yourself and, and make something of, your, of yourself, do something for yourself of, that you could be proud of. And I feel also here it's... Um, it's like uh, the message is, is saying stop wishing on a on a on a well or stop wishing on a shooting star it's not going to happen it's simply not going to happen not right now not while this person is actually feeling like um, they are themselves not interested in in whatever they whatever kind of relationship comes their way because they're more interested in finding themselves and understanding what their lives mean right now and what happened what went wrong previously and where is it that they need to change themselves or work on themselves and so that feels like it's very much the focus of the person that you're interested in it is possible that that will change soon and perhaps ask um this question in about a month from now or two months from now and and see if it has changed uh, this situation isn't stagnant there is change there but I don't see the change in the in these cards what I see is that right now is not the time for you to be wishing for this and it's not a time um, to place your hopes on something that might not happen and it's almost as if you've told yourself a story and you believe in something but it's not really the truth and um, that you know you need to actually just take a step back and see this for what it is and I can imagine that that is not what you'd like to hear but uh, that is what the cards are saying the cards are saying well you've been fooling yourself you've been deceiving yourself and um, stop wishing upon something that isn't really there and yes indeed there may be a connection that you may have with this person but right now and how you've been focusing on it and how you expect it to come together isn't the way in which it would happen. It's more likely to um, to happen in a, in a very different way. And this is something that you need to actually allow it to, to just take its course. You need to give it the space um, to take its course. You need to stop thinking about this person right now or just focus somewhere else. Focus on yourself actually is what the recommendation is. Just to focus on you and um, and value your time a bit more and uh, as you do so you will find that the situation shifts just generally certainly it will shift uh, for your well-being and it will it will increase your well-being and it will be almost like you're making a, um, a promise to yourself or a commitment to yourself here and um, and ask this question later to see if uh, if something has changed is my suggestion. But for the moment, the answer is no. Will you be together? The answer is actually no. All right, so I hope that um, you can gain something out of this um, and I'm wishing you uh, well as you go along. So for those of you who've chosen the option number three, today we're asking, will we be together? That is the question that we're asking today.
So in these cards, what I see here is a big maybe, but it, there's also a very clear message here uh, of seek for what you would like. It's like go ahead and seek that which you desire. Seek what you desire and it shall be yours. Is almost like the the, the what they're suggesting it's like give give it your all put yourself into it put yourself completely into it immerse yourself into it and with that um, you will receive but even though they give me this message and um, what I see here is that what you receive is not exactly uh, what you were expecting but there are greater rewards that come from this there are greater rewards in terms of one's own benefits and um, one's own well-being and in terms of um, one's own happiness so it's almost as if this puts you on another path like ask and you shall receive and then you when you receive you it's as if um, uh, the, the the situation that you're looking at it doesn't just bring you love it doesn't just bring you uh, some kind of uh, relationship it brings you something much more than that, something much more fulfilling, something much more abundant than that. And it, it fulfills you, it gives you so much more. It's like you become wealthy as a result of it, but not necessarily in terms of money, but just in terms of everything else that life has to offer. What I feel is like you're going to get, go ahead and get what you want, but then you're going to not want it anymore. You're going to realize that it's not actually what you believed it to be, that there is some um there's been some misrepresentation or there's been some kind of deception or there's been some feeling of um this person not really showing you who they really are and when you are together with them then you realize that you hadn't fallen in love with them exactly you fall in love with an idea of them or who you believe that they were um, but with this comes rewards as well so it's not as if i see you rejecting this person or pushing them away it's almost as if it brings you wisdom like tolerating or understanding or being open to that situation it brings you great understanding great hope and great wisdom and it makes you a better person all around even though this is a very much a maybe yeah maybe you'll come together i want to say go ahead and put all of you into it and and um do whatever you are planning to do with regard to this. If you're planning not to do anything at all, then don't. But if you are planning on, on sending this person a letter or uh, contacting them or you are coming to this reading to ask, well, should I actually, you know, go for it? Shall I trust this person? Well, I would say that perhaps you can't trust this person, but what you can do is go into it with all your heart and you will be protected and you will be okay you will be fine and you will be better off as a result of having followed your heart of having uh, chosen this path and there are many blessings that await you even though it may seem to the general public or the normal person that these are not really blessings but um, because of the way in which it looks the way in which the situation is packaged uh, it is actually a blessing for you because you you gain so much from it as a result and it makes you so much more richer as a human being it makes you more developed it makes you uh, understand yourself better it also feels like you are triumphant in the situation and that you have control over the matter so it's not like you are getting yourself into something and then it's going to not work out and you're going to be dragged through the mud no you come out triumphant and you are are very much in control of it uh, after that and in a good way not in a, in a manner that um, you know is hurting anyone there is also a sense here that if you choose not to be in a relationship with this person or not to be together with this person that you will still have all, many of these benefits so whichever direction you decide to go into whether you decide to pursue this this person whether you decide to enter a relationship or not with them you will still receive many blessings and it will be a very beneficial um, process for you it will be an an interesting journey and um, almost in a journey which exalts you and at the end of it you will be grateful and happy that you walked this path 
So this is something that um, it's quite an ambiguous message because in a way almost it says, well, no, or not, or it doesn't really say no. It, it's more like a maybe. Yeah, maybe you'll be in a relationship, but it doesn't really give me a sense that um, that you will, what am I trying to say here? Well, it doesn't really give me a sense that you'll definitely be in a relationship or you'll definitely be together. But what it does tell me is that whatever happens from it, you will have benefited and you will be on a good path with yourself. So that is your message for those of you who've come by for this reading. And I hope that has benefited you in some way. I hope it does resonate. And yes, um, wishing you all well as you go along. And uh, blessings abound from Kismet Rising.